What's up, everybody, and welcome back. So season six, episode two of Rick and Morty just dropped. If you haven't seen my review on episode one, you can go and check it out. Link is in the description, as well as the links to all of our other socials and our Discord. Go and check those out. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Apparently, it helps out the videos. So season six, episode two of Rick and Morty, my initial thoughts I thought it was fine. It was of course like I imagined it was going to be. Just a regular old episode, not a connection to anything. It kind of actually furthered the development between Rick and Morty, which was surprising. I didn't I didn't expect that. Not from not from the preview for this episode. So my initial review right out of the gate is that I enjoyed it. It was fun and it was fine. I enjoyed it, but I can't say that I loved it. So episode two, Rick and Morty are at blips and chits again. And the episode episode starts with everything already going on so we don't actually see them arrive whatever happened we don't see any of that all of that is explained during the episode so what happens is they went to blips and chits and they started playing roy because who wouldn't want to play roy the life simulator game morty's playing roy and apparently the power went out for a second and he basically got trapped in the game rick had to go in as roy and try and save him to get out from the game the problem is morty's consciousness was separated between all of the npcs in the game so his entire consciousness was split between everybody so rick needed to gather all of them to get out of there on the b story side right because that's the a story on the b story side summer is having to take down terrorists and do a die hard if you haven't seen die hard what that means is she has to sneak around the arcade and kill the terrorists who are apparently from some race maybe i guess not an alien race because how it was explained by Peter Dinklage, who did the voice, is that the galaxy loves Die Hard and they all have their own iteration of Die Hard, and he is a Die Hard enthusiast, and so they are pulling a Die Hard from Hans Gruber's perspective. They're going in to be Hans Gruber, and they want somebody to take them down Die Hard style. Maybe not take them down, maybe they didn't want to die, but they did end up dying. It's Rick and Morty. A lot of people died in Rick and Morty. And honestly, the B storyline for this episode was my favorite part of the story. From the preview for this episode, I thought it was going to be more of a summer episode, which I was actually excited to see because we don't get a lot of summer episodes. So I was excited to see her doing a Die Hard. I thought that would have been cool. She had just gotten Wolverine claws. Let's see her do a Die Hard now, you know? I'll I'll take that. That seems fun and interesting. The A story, to me, it wasn't bad, but it felt like a really long running joke of the same thing. It felt like they kept going back to the same joke well and just getting the same joke and playing it again and again and again. Now, I'm not saying that's bad. Maybe you thought it was hilarious, but to me, it got a little, I don't want to say tiresome. It didn't get tiresome because it's not like it felt like a long episode and it's not like I wanted to turn it off at any one point and stop watching but the joke of the roy religion cult thing to me was a little overplayed at least it felt like it went on for too long for me which is why i say i was very surprised was the relationship development between rick and morty i wasn't expecting that i wasn't expecting them to just jump there i guess in the second episode maybe it was just for a moment maybe it was just for a part and yet they went there they they actually went to their relationship and they talked about it and I guess they tried to develop it in a joking manner of course but I'm interested to see what episode three is going to be whether or not anything that happened in this episode especially between Rick and Morty actually matters or if it's gonna stick and we're gonna see something come forth from it going forward I honestly don't know I wouldn't be surprised if we don't so I'm not holding my breath too. But I did love the B story, the summer story of the Die Hard. I thought that was a lot of fun. I'm a fan of parody type things. If it was a full episode of just the Die Hard thing, I probably would have enjoyed it more just because, I mean, that's that's kind of stuff that I like. I thought it was enjoyable. I thought it was fun. It definitely wasn't a bad episode, but I can't say it was a fantastic episode. I can't say it was like episode one. It was enjoyable. But honestly, I really didn't expect the development between Rick and Morty and their own relationship 
relationship from the preview for episode three rick is hanging out with summer who knows maybe they do something there with their relationship and they do more character building with them too i think it'll be interesting to see right now i feel like the tone of this season and i know we're only two episodes in but right now the tone of this season i don't want to say it feels heavier but it definitely feels different i'm here for it though i'm enjoying it we'll see what happens there's 100 percent gonna be more Rick and Morty shenanigans and I'm down for it all in all I enjoyed it feel like it's mid-tier middle of the road kind of episode definitely enjoyable if you liked it leave a like if you didn't like it leave a like if you like the video or don't like the video leave a like leave a comment you know you can say why it's not like I'll care but leave a like and a comment you know go to the socials join the discord if you want to talk about it there you go there's discord you can blah, 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 talk about it all you want like and subscribe check out the two taco podcast links to all of that are in the description box down below. Other than that, I'll see all of you in the next one.